there is some monkey business going on at the Dallas Zoo. Most recently, two Emperor Tamarin monkeys were believed to have been stolen from their exhibit on Monday. Police believe that they were stolen because the habitat that they are in was intentionally compromised. I'm KP, a marine biologist with over a decade's worth of experience working in zoos and aquariums. Thankfully, the tamarins were recovered. According to the Dallas Zoo, Bella and Finn were extremely happy to snuggle into their nests. And the animal care team said that they showed no signs of injury beyond losing maybe a little bit of weight. It'll be a while, however, until they're back on their main exhibit for people to view because they now need to be quarantined. Tamarins are extremely susceptible to human diseases like the flu, COVID, and even herpes. That's why masks have always been required when you're working really closely with primates, even before the pandemic. And we can be nearly certain that whoever abducted these monkeys was not taking those same precautions. Now, the question that everyone has been asking is why would someone do this? Well, the leading theory is that they were taken to be sold as exotic pets. In fact, thanks to a tip, police found the monkeys inside an abandoned building that was the subject of a previous investigation involving the illegal trafficking of exotic animals. According to the president of Wildlife Rescue and Rehabilitation in Kendalia, Texas, monkeys like the tamarins taken could be sold for thousands and thousands of dollars. Primates are high dollar animals in the wildlife pet trade. Everybody that wants one, wants one for all the wrong reasons. There is never a good reason to have any wild animal as a pet. And I couldn't agree more. Whoever stole these tamarins likely has no idea how to care for one. They have very specific needs like specialized diets and even temperatures. Tamarins are tropical animals. The day they were stolen, the zoo was actually closed due to sub-zero temperatures. And the temperature inside the building where the tamarins were found was just 37 degrees Fahrenheit. That is far too cold for an emperor tamarind. Of course, this isn't the end of the story. These stolen tamarins are not an isolated incident. It is actually the fourth suspicious act that has happened at the Dallas Zoo just this month. It all started two weeks ago when their clouded leopard named Nova went missing. And just like with the tamarins, police found that the habitat had been intentionally cut. While significantly bigger than a domestic house cat, clouded leopards are actually pretty small on the big cat scale. They weigh somewhere between 25 and 50 pounds usually, or uh, 11 to 20 kilos. And they're not usually a threat to humans. They're actually a pretty shy and elusive species. It's this very shyness that actually helped the keepers to locate the animal. They knew for a fact that this animal would not be brave enough to wander very far from their exhibit. And they did in fact find her very close. Luckily, she was uninjured. That very same day, keepers discovered some cuts made to their Langer monkey habitat as well. Thankfully, none of the monkeys were missing and all seemed healthy. Unfortunately, the same cannot be said about the lappet-faced vulture named Pin. Just a week after the first two incidents, Pin was found dead in their habitat. The vulture's death was suspicious because according to the vet staff, an unusual wound and injuries indicated Pin did not die of natural causes. Rightfully scared for the health and safety of their animals, the Dallas Zoo immediately ramped up their security. They more than doubled their overnight security presence, increased their overnight staff, and even expanded the coverage of their security cameras. They might have already helped. Hours after the tamarins were reported stolen, police released a photograph of a man caught on a security camera. He and another man were seen walking around the zoo while it was closed due to the weather. Then on Thursday, staff at the Dallas World Aquarium spotted the same man at the facility. He was seen near the enclosures and was even asking the staff about the wire mesh. He was arrested shortly thereafter and charged with six counts of animal cruelty. So far though, the police have not linked this man with the other incidents that happened at the Dallas Zoo. They're not sure if they're even connected. Neither am I, to be honest. 
Vultures aren't usually the target of illegal pet trades, and that's pretty self-explanatory. I think they would make really awful pets. Dallas police have also begun working with investigators from the U.S. Department of Fish and Wildlife. And this is because many of the animals harmed or intended to be harmed in these attacks are endangered species. The criminal penalties for harming an endangered species can be quite severe and include up to a year in prison and $50,000 per incident. These crimes also jeopardize the zoo's conservation efforts. The Dallas Zoo is very active in species preservation. They participate in over 40 species survival plans. These programs are designed to help ensure the survival of species that are near threatened, threatened, endangered, or otherwise in danger of extinction, including some of the animals in these targeted attacks. And I think we can all agree that is far more important than owning an exotic pet. <laughs>